right, there you go. Lots of fun with the ride. They're celebrating their eighth year this year, and of course, it uh, it supports life-changing research at the Ottawa Hospital. With us right now, the very famous, very familiar Shelley McLean. How are you? I'm good, Dylan. How you're are you a, doing? You're a family member here. You know that, right? I am. It's good to be back. <laughs> member of the family. Communications officer, of course, the Ottawa Hospital Foundation, and we have uh, Carol Badnock with us as well. You're a participant. Yes. You'll be in the ride again. Yes. This is the eighth year you're going to be in the ride? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. We'll get to your reasons and your fundraising and all that coming up in moments, but uh, Shelley, okay, so eight years. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back eight years ago. Why did we decide to create the ride? Well, um, there were some community leaders, uh, business leaders, who felt that there was a, a great opportunity in Ottawa that we were, you know, we could put on a, a wonderful premier cycling fundraising event and to support the Ottawa Hospital. Uh, we had Robert Merkley from Merkley Supply, Claude de Rosier from mm -hmm. Boone Plumbing and Heating. We had Roger Greenberg from Minto. And uh, they kind of came together with the Ottawa Hospital Foundation and uh, all of a sudden the ride came to be. Mm -hmm. And it was an opportunity to promote cancer research happening at the Ottawa Hospital. And happy to say that those men uh, and are still very much involved in supporting the ride. Uh, today we have Mattamy Homes as our title sponsor. And uh, I think that's what's really important about the ride. It's an opportunity for members of our community to give back to important research that's happening at the Ottawa Hospital. And it's an opportunity for businesses to uh, not only support the Ottawa Hospital, but uh, promote health and wellness in their workplace because a lot of the ride as Carol can talk about is made up of teams that mm -hmm. come together and uh, you know train in the months leading up to our event on September the 10th and so it promotes health and wellness and then they have a great time on September 10th when when they actually do the ride. Okay so, so Carol what brings you back every year I mean for, well, for, for starters why, why did you decide to uh, participate in the ride the first year? I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2002 um, but not just the way I was treated at the Ottawa Hospital. Um, I was so interested in the research that was being done. Um, so that's why I do the ride. But biking is also my favorite sport. And this ride is a tremendous amount of fun. Mm -hmm. So that it was an obvious mix. Yeah, so you have a lot of fun every year. Yes. Clearly. And there's some changes this year as well. Yeah, that's right. So uh, year number eight. Uh, we've had a lot of success with the ride. We've raised over $11 million in seven years for cancer research at the Ottawa Hospital. But we just decided that we wanted to uh, allow a lot more people in our community to support the Ottawa Hospital because, you know, there are many of us that uh, need uh, the Ottawa Hospital for, for support at some time in our lives. And so this was an opportunity to be a little bit more inclusive. So. We looked at all aspects of the ride. Uh, we've lowered our minimum fundraising level to $750. So that's cut in half. In previous years, it's been $1,500. Mm -hmm. So this time around, uh, people who participate only have to raise $750. Uh, we have three route options this year. Carol's going to be doing the 117 kilometers. Carol, what? <laughs> that's, what? Our, that's our open road <laughs> route. Um, and it's a lot of fun, as Carol can attest to. Uh, it takes you, you know, it starts at Tunney's Pasture, takes you to uh, Connect of North, you go through Carp, Dunrobin, very picturesque. Yeah. It's an open road route. We have uh, Ottawa police who are along the route to ensure safety for our riders. We also have a 50 kilometer closed route which loops the Sir Johnny McDonald Parkway. Mm -hmm. And then new this year we have the virtual ride. So this is an opportunity for people who uh, maybe not comfortable riding in group settings or maybe they're not available on September 10th. The virtual ride is an option for them to uh, clock their kilometers through the summer months through our ride app, uh, still raise $750 for yeah. the Ottawa Hospital and research, and still be part of our event. And uh, we're also offering uh, youth the opportunity to join us this year. So uh, youth from 14 to 17 are, are welcome to join us on the closed route, the 50 kilometer route. Okay, Carol, wouldn't it just be easier to do the virtual one and then <laughs> not have to? It would be easier, yes. <laughs> but. Um, Biking, as I said, is my favorite sport, and the the, the camaraderie uh, with my team members. Uh, this particular group bike to get, bikes together um, every Sunday, mm -hmm. and um, one of the nice things about this ride is it's at the very end of the summer, so it keeps us honest. We have to train all summer, and we have to train hard. Okay, and that's actually a good thing. Okay, so how do you get people to fundraise, uh, or uh, some fun fundraising tips? Because obviously, if we've raised. Uh, 11 million over the last seven years, I and mean, good people like you are out there knocking on doors, or how do you do it? 
For me, holding an event uh, is the best way to raise money. Uh, I, I want to make it uh, fun for people to, to give. Um, uh, m and Barbecue, uh, m M&M, and um, Meat Market yeah. in um, uh, Manatic mm -hmm. gives us the opportunity to have a, a charity barbecue every summer. Good. And um, so that was last weekend. Mm -hmm. But uh, through that barbecue, people show up, they have a hamburger, they have a hot dog, um, and the, the profits go to the ride. Yeah. Uh, so it's a fun way to, to get the money. And, and uh, our, our team with that support is well on its way to making what we need. That's incredible. So the money, I mean, you touched on some of the different areas, of course. I mean, where would the money be going locally? So the, the, the funding from the ride, it all goes to support research happening at the Ottawa Hospital. Okay. And uh, that research in the past has been focused on cancer research. But this year, uh, another one of the changes is focusing on priority research at the Ottawa Hospital, including cancer research. That's what Carol is supporting this year, because obviously cancer touches so many of us. But there are other aspects of the Ottawa a hospital where research is uh, uh, making huge strides. Stem cell research, for example, helping people with MS. We're also doing research, obviously, cancer. We're, we're uh, you know, when you talk to our scientists, you hear about them talking about the innovation and the strides we're making. We're getting close. But our research is also looking at uh, people with heart disease, people uh, with stroke. Okay. people who are dealing with ALS. So okay. we're looking at priority research supporting the Ottawa Hospital and so it's a new a new opportunity for people to you know get out and support the Ottawa Hospital and I think what's unique about the Ottawa Hospital and the research happening there is the fact that it's going from bench to bedside so we're actually seeing where research is happening and it's being brought from the research lab to the bedside of the patients. It, we're seeing the transition, we're seeing um, it make a difference in the lives of patients. All right, do the ride.ca. You can uh, find Carol on there, make a donation, and of course to sign up. And volunteers are always wanted, and just all this fun stuff. Because we got some time to put this together and make it the biggest one yet. Yeah, there's, there's still time to be a part of the ride. Yeah. There's still part to, time to be a participant, join Carol, Perfect. or uh, be a volunteer. Do the ride.ca. Shelly and Carol, thank you very much for being here. Thank you. thank you. And we've got more daytime coming up. How about uh, break the chain 17? What's that all about? Details next.